Yeah. I forever love my city. House on the riverside. Round now. Hey, Road Runners, how we doing? Quick video update. I hope everybody having an awesome Sunday. I'm sitting outside at home watching some NBA. I hope you guys doing the same, relaxing um, from our long day of football yesterday. Um, start out with that. Great day of football. We did amazing yesterday. Um, from our flag to our 12 U, we had a great day, you know, road runners. And one of the parents posted, it made me really think that yesterday was the first day in road run history that all four teams walked away with a W. So, yay. Um, all it is, that's the signs of growth, that's the signs of maturity, that's the signs of us as an organization. We continue to build, and one of our original sayings was trust the process. So the process is looking like it's kind of paying off a little bit, but, you know, it's still a lot more work to go, um, particularly with work to go next weekend. Next weekend definitely will be a really good weekend of football, really good tough teams, and we definitely got to come to bring it. So my first request is please let's make sure we get our young men's there this week, all three days. So for Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, let's try our best to have close to 100% as possible. I understand things happen, life happen, but let's try our best to get our young men's there for next weekend game. Um, Remember, as of today, um, hopefully something might can change, but as of today, there's no flag game next Saturday. It's only for the tackle kids. So our six U, I mean our eight U, ten U, and twelve U have a game next Saturday. Also, we'll be playing in a three way. So let me explain how that works is um, it's three organizations be playing at the same time. So if you remember the schedule and I post the schedule on the stream, um, you have us starting off against Truth. Um, for a 20-minute half, and we'll step off the field and let Cardova Woods step on the field for a versus true for a 20-minute half. And the last part, the uh, truth will step off, then it'll let us and the Wolves go, you know, for 20 minutes. So it'll be a 60-minute game, but all three of us will have an opportunity to play within that 60 minutes. So it's a great chance we'll get different looks at different kids and kind of end the spring off on a really, really good feet and give our guys some work. And we can see where our work is when we get back in July. Um, so, with that, Saturday is not our last day. Our last day will be May 26th. So, that following week um, will be our last week of spring. Um, then you get your break. So, remember, after the 21st game, we still have practice that following week. Um, that week of practice, though, we will be in shorts and shirts. So, Find your shorts. Uh, if you don't have shorts and shirts, please let me know ASAP. I can make sure I can get them to you um, for the ones who haven't, but everybody who does have them. That week of uh, practice, that last week will be in shorts and shirts and helmets. So make sure, and of course, you know, I'm going to remind you, they will show up to practice in their shorts, the Roadrunner shorts, the Roadrunner tee, and their helmets. That will be our last week of practice. Uh, we're working on some other things for that week as well. Um, we'll be back. So you get a nice little week. Let's see how far, you, how many weeks. I didn't even calculate that. Um, our return back will be July 11th. The week out the 4th of July. So we'll be back to football July 11th. Monday, July 11th. So that's six weeks. You have a no football. So enjoy your six week break. Um, vacations, please try to get your vacations within that time. Um, I'm begging that one. So, um, cause we got to come back and be full steam ahead. So we're trying to do some things in the preseason. So, um, please let me know or let your coach know if something going to be going on that you are not there when we get back in July 11th. So I hope and I pray to the football guys that you guys take your break during that time. So, um, so remember we practice after the 21st and we come back to July 11th. So you get six weeks um, no us, no football, no weather. Uh, let's be paying attention to when we do come back. Uh, we might adjust our practice time, uh, especially since there's no school at that point and they get dark later. Um, we probably start practicing, and of course I'll let you know, uh, when we get back in July, we might be practicing around 6, 6.30. 
to 8, 8.30. Um, but I'll let you know. Um, that's definitely for us to avoid as much of the heat as possible. So we do know um, it will be a little warm. But normally when you get to that time of day, the humidity is kind of gone out of the air. So that's a good thing. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. So, but anyway, enjoy your Sunday. Great Sunday dinner. But I want to touch on those few quick little details um, as far as we do have another week after this week. And when we return back, uh, but anyway, awesome weekend yesterday, awesome day, I mean, um, but great work. Let's keep it up. Let's have 100%. We have great fan support last week, so let's make sure we have this this week as well. But anyway, have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. I forever love my city. House on the